unanimous decision against Carlos Ramirez in his previous fight. Looked good in that fight. Rangy kind of fighter, throws a good one too. Not doesn't really have a sort of snappy jab, but looked fairly effective at mid-range as well. Miguel Ramos of Venezuela got past Ramazan Demir of Turkey. Quite aggressive. Boxes out of the southpaw stance. Long arms. Throws pretty rapid combinations. Good check, right hook. That's what I picked up in that first fight. Sang Fet, Thai national champion. Ramos, bronze at the South American Games in 2018. The best return of his career so far. So that's Ramos. It's our timekeeper, an RMC, Rishi Panica. He's telling me a very entertaining story in the break between sessions about uh, an unfortunate incident he had whilst emceeing back home in Dubai. I won't repeat it. It's funny. All sorts of things can happen in boxing rings around boxing events, let me tell you. So into the first round here, Tanarat Sangfet of Thailand is in the red. Miguel Ramos of Venezuela is in the blue. Right hand to the body there from Sangfet. Keeping that head on the move. Sang Fett gloves up. Trying to apply some educated pressure here. Doesn't want to give anything away. But wants to get close and let his hands go. Right into the body there from Sang Fett. Looked to lean in and grab hold. And Ramos did the right thing. Just pushed him off. That was a good combination. Quick hands and accurate as well. He's made a nice start here, Ramos. He looks very purposeful. Like I say, he's, his defence is good. Either the gloves are up or the head is moving. Sang Fett just trying to sink that right into the body. Trying to attack the body there, Sang Fett. Good right hand there, though. Good right hand from Sang Fett. And again over the top, but Ramos gets onto the inside, and this is heating up nicely. Midway point of round one. Straight right hand there from Sang Fett. Ramos trying to get close so he can let those hands go. And another shake of the head again there. Right to the body from Ramos, but, but Sang Fett has adjusted well, actually, I think. The early stages, I just wondered whether Ramos would have a bit too much for him. He wasn't going to try and walk through him, Ramos, because, as I say, his defence is good. But he was definitely looking to really pressure him and try and overwhelm him. And it looked like it might be doable, but Sang Fett has, has made some adjustments since then. Turned southpaw there briefly. Has thrown that one-two down the middle. And has just managed to stop him in his tracks a few times, but still he comes forward here. There's that right hand, he's really sticking it in, isn't he? Ramos. Bit of blood coming from the end of the nose, I think. Ramos has made Sangfeld work very hard in this opening round. He's been throwing that one-two pretty much continually the last 90 seconds and it hasn't given Ramos too much chance to to punch. I'll be interested to see what what the judges think about this because he's brought a lot of heat there Ramos and he has had some success but Sangfeld has punched pretty well off the back foot there I think. 
and has landed with with a good amount with a good amount so I would go his way with that I think he's won that individual battle but whether he'll win the war or not over the three rounds I don't know so Sangfat gets it 10-9 across the board there with with all five with all five judges and what I mean by that is that he's won that individual round but I think that's taken something out of him it, it looks fine at the moment but he was made to work very very hard there he did take a few and he did have to punch a lot and he'll have to continue punching a lot and this is one of those fights that I was talking about this afternoon where you hit that tipping point maybe some point in the second round where the fighter who's coming forward just begins to get on top and that pressure starts to starts to pay off because he doesn't throw a jab sang fed it's always the one two and again he's he's just backed up to the corner there and he is being backed up i've spoken in previous fights about fighters deliberately giving the ground because they want their opponent to come in so they can catch them on the way in this isn't like that this is one fighter pushing the other one back Ramos got a left hand away left to the body that was a good shot referee just having to really shout at the power of them there to get him to stop boxing left hand from Ramos and another one Sangfet with a, a big right hand missed by a distance right to the body from Sangfet minute into round two right to the body from Sangfet Ramos comes back with a left the tie fighter still just digging those toes in letting those hands go Ramos on the inside hits him with a right hand Ramos with a left followed by a right and he is beginning to get through a little bit more goes down to the body midway point of of round two Sangfet with a right to the body Ramos with a left down the middle this is a great watch and this round two I'd say at the minute is it is right in the balance Sangfet took the first one 10 nines all five judges so Ramos needs this one can he turn things up a bit in the final minute Sangfet looking for that right didn't quite have room for it that time throws a left hook moves off looks for the right hand over the top Ramos chopping down with the left missed right to the body from Sang Fett and a good right hand counter as well but Ramos comes back with a left trying to trap him in the corner the heads maybe cracked together on the inside Sang Fett just showing Ramos that he's not going to be intimidated there I'm not I'm not saying he stuck the head in or anything but he needed to get out of that corner and he made sure he did it looking for the uppercut there Ramos final few seconds of round two Ramos needs round two and it's Sangfat who's on the front foot at the end of the round there change of dynamic well, there goes the bell I think the Thai fighters done enough to take that second round and that was impressive from him at the end there because he just started to really get on the front foot and and give it to Ramos a little bit but Ramos up the up the work rate up the tempo definitely had more success in the second round than he did in the first so let's have a look while the judges go four out of five go Ramos there actually four out of five go Ramos wasn't much in that round I'd have shaded red myself but no issue with that I thought the good finish he put on there Sang Fett maybe just got his nose back in front but the judges thought differently and that well there was a point deduction in there for Sang Fett and he's lost that round with four out of five judges so that means that he is now a point behind on four cards a point ahead on one card 
So he needs to win this final round and then hope the judges' decisions go his way. Jab there from Ramos, caught Sangfet. Jab just flicked up from the waist from Ramos, steps in and throws the one two right into the body there from Sangfet. This has been a really good fight to watch. There's that one two. He looks quite kind of fragile build by Sangfet, doesn't he? But he's digging in. He's young as well. He is young. He's 19 years old, but he's shown some serious, serious grit here. Right hand from Sangfet. Throws the left, moves off to the left, throws another right, and just stopped Ramos a little bit as he looked to try and walk in. There have been points where I thought that Ramos was just about to really get on top of him, and he's never let it happen. Ramos. Again, though, just adjust those shorts, moves those feet quickly into the centre of the ring. Right to the body from Sangfet. Into the second half of the round. Going into this final round, Sangfet 19 points to 18 up on one card, 19 points to 18 down on the other four. Right to the body from Ramos was... A decent shot, Sangfet just being knocked back into the ropes. Ramos boring into him a little bit there. Right to the body. There's not quite as much in that right hand now, though. Ramos again marauding forward. The judges preferred his work in the second round. I didn't think there was a great deal in it. And the third round is quite similar, actually, to the, to the second. Right to the body there from Sangfet. Good left hand there from Ramos. Set his lead foot a little bit wider. Sure, right hand caught Sankfet there, but Ramos just isn't giving him a moment's peace here. Hits him to the body, hits him to the chest again there. And Ramos is winning this final round, I think. Which will be enough to send him through. Well, there goes the bell. We'll have to wait and see. They're both claiming victory here, both corners. I think the Ramos is going to get it. Good fight, though, really good fight. Point deduction from the TIE fighter in the second round certainly didn't help his cause. Any point deduction in a in a three round fight is bad news. Well, the red corner gets it. The red corner gets it. He's won that final round. Ten points to nine on three of the cards. And it's 28. 28 on two of those cards. As it just flashed up on your screen there. And he got them both by judge's decision. So it goes through well. That is dramatic, dramatic stuff. I thought that Ramos did enough to win that final round myself. But Sangfet got it on three out of the five cards, which meant he won one card 29-27. The other two were 28-28. The judges' decisions went his way. Well, how about that? I mean... 
when you have a point taken away, it, it's such a blow. It is such a blow, but he overcame that. And that's some effort from him from the 19-year-old. As I said, he showed a lot of grit. He hung in there at times. I felt that he was about to get overwhelmed, but it never happens. It never happens. I don't think Ramos could quite believe it. 